Well, Special Investigating Unit spokesperson Kaiser Khanyako joins us now live. Kaiser, so the health minister, or health MEC former, I should say, issuing a statement right now, rubbishing the SIU report used to fire him. In fact, he says that you're being used to play politics. Uh, good afternoon, Sharan, and good afternoon to your viewers. I don't know what uh, that means. Uh, we are not uh, working in that fashion. Our job is very simple. We work on the uh, proclamation that was signed by the president and whatever recommendation we have made, we have made on the basis of the sufficient um, evidence that we have gathered. We didn't just write the report. We also gave the evidence to support our, our report. Therefore, we are certain that whatever we have given to the premier is based on evidence. Yeah. So he lists uh, uh, reasons as to why he disagrees with your findings. And one of them is that you ignored all affidavits, including his, and chose to rely on one to make this finding. Is that true? If you, uh, it's just that maybe you are not in possession of this report. If you look at the report, when we get to recommendation, we write there that after consideration of all the information before us, we then made the decision on the basis of that. Therefore, I don't know where he gets the fact that we have ignored certain things. We have taken all the information before us and all the interviews that we have made and all the evidence that was provided to us, and we were able, on the basis of that, to make the decision that we have made as a recommendation to the Premier. He's also saying that the SIU engages uh, in the exercise of mandate overreach by attempting to go beyond the search of criminality to make commentary about his performance without even referencing the contract he signed with the Premier. Like I say, we, I don't know what, what, where he gets whatever he is saying because we are working on the basis of evidence that is before us. Therefore, there is no anything that we have done in terms of overreach. If you have heard what the Premier said, he indicated that we have made this uh, report to him and the investigation is still going on in as far as issues of criminality, where we are working with the hawks on that one to make sure that we get to the bottom of it. And that part of the investigation that is still continuing is not against an individual. It's against everybody who might be found to have had something criminal to do in this investigation. All right, so give us those findings that you made, just to make it clear to our viewers. Tell us how, what you found and what your recommendations were regarding the former MEC. Our recommendation was very simple as far as we were concerned. After all the considerations and looking at all the things, we have now uh, said that uh, the MEC failed to execute his functions in compliance with the Constitution, especially Section 133, 135, 136 of the Constitution. And then we have also said that with his general oversight, he, was, he, was, uh, he failed to comply with the general oversight responsibility in respect of the affairs of the Houghton Department of Health, which contributed thereto to the department failing to comply with the prescript of Section 33, 195, and 217 of the Constitution. And he has also uh, failed to execute his, his in compliance with the obligation as the executive authority of the Houghton Department of Health in terms of Section 63 of the PFMA. So the uh, Premier also making it clear that the corruption probe is still ongoing. How far are you with that? You will understand that uh, this is part of uh, the, the broader proclamation, which is R23 of 2020. Therefore, that part is still continuing because you'll remember that the issue that we are dealing with here relates to one part of the investigation, which is around the MEC, but we still have over uh, 100 uh, companies that we are looking at in Kauteng, and the lake of that we are talking about is part of that investigation, and it will happen on its own. We cannot at this stage preempt what the outcomes are going to be, but what we can say is we are working with the Ox on this one to make sure that the evidence that we want can generate, uh, come up with the, the, the number of people, if there are any, who will be uh, uh, liable in terms of the criminal side of things. Yeah, and when do we find out what's the recommendation regarding Royal Batra as well as Kusela Diko? At this present moment, what we gave to as a report was in relation to, to the MEC. And the reason why it was in relation to the MEC is because 
we, it is part of the outcomes that we do. And it is not only because it is the MEC. You will remember a few weeks ago, we gave a similar kind of thing in relation to the CFO, and we gave a similar kind of, of report in relation to the head of department, and now it was the turn of the, the, the one in relation to the MEC. Therefore, we're doing that because it is based on an outcome where if there is a need for disciplinary he uh, hearings to happen or to, to have administrative actions done, we then give the opportunity to the premier, in this case, as the line of the MEC. Yeah, and, and any briefing to the president, perhaps, on his spokesperson, because that's who she works for, right? Yes, that will be done in relation to that. But uh, at the moment, we, do, we deal with outcomes as and when we finalize those outcomes and we are able to present it to them. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to leave it right there. Special Investigating Unit Spokesperson Kaiser Khanyako.